Hey guys, Chris Dunn here, aka the Boogeyman. That's right, I'm in front of a, what we call an altar, which is a open funny car, which is kind of cool. I'm a gasser guy, but I believe I'd try to make a pass in this thing if they'd let me. Guy brought it to me, super nice guy, named Billy. This is a little quickie job we're gonna do. We're gonna just do some fill-in work. He's ready to go racing and he's been racing. He just wrecked the car and broke his back, believe it or not. And he's, he's healing up very well and he just bought this car. What we're gonna do is we're going to raise the funny car cage. His helmet, literally, he's hitting the funny car cage. So we're gonna raise it up. Now here's the problem. Depending on what the shoulder bar thickness is here, is gonna depend on what we can do with this cage. Right now, it is so close to legal limit, we got a problem. If this shoulder bar is 058 material, chrome molly, if it's 065 chrome molly, then we can cut this cage off, we can put him in 083 cage, and we can make it as high as we want to. So this is one of them tricky things that you got to get in the book. You've got to get in the reg book, and you got to start doing some hardcore digging. So what we're going to have to do, unfortunately, is we're going to have to get a guy in here with a sonic tester to check this tube. We have did a they test drill hole, which is very acceptable, very little bitty drill hole to check it. You're really not going to be able to check it as good as you need to. So we've been contacted the inspector. They're going to come sign it, check it, tell us what it is so we can make sure that we can make him the proper cage that he gets his helmet away from the bar. The rule is one inch. Okay. You can't have your, when you're tied and locked in that car, you can be one inch away from the bar. That is the minimum. You cannot be no closer than one inch. If it's got padding on it, you can fill that one inch with padding. Your helmet's allowed to touch padding, but it's still got to be one inch from the ball. If you put a one inch pad in there, great. But still better be one if you pull the pad now. Got to be one inch tied down from the bar. And you don't want your head in here going ding, 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 ding on the bar, you're gonna die, because that's what happens. Roll bars, and stuff are wonderful things in cars. If you buckle your ass in. If you got a hot rod and you don't wear a seat belt with a roll cage, that's a death chair. That's an electric chair. It's a death sentence. You have a wreck, it's going to kill you because your head is going to bounce off them roll bars in there and you're going to be dead in the smallest, minute, little crash. So remember that if you got even these little sports cars with the bars over the top of them and all this, and you're not wearing a seatbelt, you're an idiot. Because that one bump and slam your head in that bar will kill you deader than hell. So remember that, that's just a tip on roll cages. If you got a hot rod roll cage in it, be sure to put your seatbelt on every time. It's safer not to wear, it's safer to not have a roll cage and not wear your seatbelt than to have a roll cage and not wear your seatbelt. Like I said, the roll bars will kill you faster than anything because they don't move like the rest of the car moves. So when you hit something, that roll bar stays lots of times and you move and then you really get really messed up and you die. But long story short, we're hooking Billy up. We're gonna raise his cage up. We're going through the proper procedure because this car was certified and we're gonna take it back to certification. We're gonna have first thing, sign it checking to this. Once that's done, we're gonna clip it here and we're gonna move everything up and build him a little bit taller cage because really he's just too close. He could. He cannot be touching this like he can. Stay tuned. This is going to be a kind of a quickie build. So basically what you're going to see is one minute you're going to see it with the cage. I may do a little few videos of us cutting stuff and checking things, and then you're going to see the cage. This is no long-term build. This is just a cool, quick little altar. I just think it's badass. And it's just talking about some of the safety that it takes in these cars, especially with the, the funny car cages. And how crucial, it's amazing to me, the thickness of material dictates so much. You know, this shoulder bar in here, which Matt, the camera guy, he'll show you here in a minute, the shoulder bar right here. The thickness of that shoulder bar determines every bit of this up here, this funny car cage, when it comes to this altar. Because if it's 080, if it's, if, excuse me, if it's 058, then I've got a problem. I can't even raise this funny car cage but one more inch. That's all I'm allowed to give because it's already so close to the legal, legal limit of what it can be. But now, if this is 065, then I'm allowed to cut this funny car cage off and build him a new one out of 083, as tall as I want. So if he wants four more inches above his helmet, I can legally do that as far as the book's concerned. You gotta remember something. 
everything in an NHRA, IHRA, the biggest thing is all the stuff's about the driver. They don't care what you put outside. If from the firewall out and the back end, they don't care if you got a four link, a two link, a three link, a ladder bar set up, or if you just weld it solid. That is not what the rule book's intended for when it comes to safety. It's all about the driver. The bars around the driver, the floorboard around the driver. Everything about that is about safety of the drivers. Keep that in mind when you're working on your hot rods or you're building your new drag car, or if you, you know, and this is typical, this is to the guys at home doing this. Do your homework, man. A Google and a computer is the best thing they ever come up with when it comes to figuring out what safety rules are. And if you get confused, find somebody in your local area that builds drag cars and get some certified. They'll know the rules too. Chris Dunn, AKA the Boogeyman. Hey guys. Either one. I don't know which camera. Either one. No. Word, 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 people. Now you young people probably don't remember the word, word, but if you are a kid like from the 80s and the 90s like me, word is the word. You hear me? Pee Wee Herman was your hero? That's not true. Word That's not word. true. Pee Wee Herman did not say the word, word, okay? I'm sure that was a rap group, but I can't think of it. Hey, what's up, man? Word. How you doing today, dog? Word. Everything good? Word. There you go. Stick with it. Don't be a dumbass. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> we'll depend on how much we can. Well, well, I shouldn't say depend. We'll be the question. Oh, hold on. <laughs> then we can make him the proper case that he gets his head away from the helmet. Um, I mean, he gets his helmet away from the bar. 